In this video, we're going to be going through another introduction to algebra, but we're going to be talking about the multiplication principle. And uh, in a previous video, I performed the addition principle. Between these two principles and, and combinations of them in specific orders, you effectively can solve a great many linear equations. In fact, all of them, really. You might need other particular uh, ways and techniques to solve other problems. But that's off in the future. Let's concentrate on what's at hand. And so in the addition principle we said, well we can add, you know, if we have two numbers that are the same, then we can add a, a number to both sides and we're still good. They're still equal. The multiplication principle says effectively the same thing, but there's this thing, there's this one restriction, and, and many, many math things come with restrictions. And it says, if you have any numbers a, b, and c, but c cannot be 0. Let me finish this and I'll, and I'll tell you why. So for any numbers a, b, and c, and c is not 0, if a is the same as b, then we can multiply a number to both sides and they're still the same. Okay, so just like the addition, we can multiply any number to both sides and we're fine. Now, the reason why z can't be 0 is if you have any number, if you were to substitute in 0 and say a times 0 is equal to b times 0, no matter, a and b don't even have to be the same number. Okay, but you're going to get 0 equals 0. This is called a trivial solution. Meaning that no matter what a and b are, even if they're not necessarily equal themselves, if you multiply both sides by 0, you're done. It's going to be equal, it's going to be 0 equals 0. It always works. But it's not necessarily helping you. And, and so this is why it's trivial. It's not, at, it's not incorrect, it's just not helpful. <laughs> okay, so we have to be very cautious is what we do. Now, one of the things that we ran into before is we wanted to make it look like x plus 0. Because x plus 0 was the additive identity. It, 0 plus anything is that anything that got x by itself. In multiplication, the multiplicative, multiplicative, that's a c, identity is 1. And so the number 1 is the multiplicative identity. 1 times anything is that anything. So what we want to do is we want a goal of changing this into 1x. And to do that we need to multiply both sides by a very specially chosen number to get that done. Now in the in addition, adding what we did is we did the opposite. We, we added its inverse. So if we had x plus 5, we added negative 5 because negative 5 is the inverse of 5. In multiplication, the inverse is the reciprocal. And so if we, for instance, if we, for instance, wanted to get rid of the 6 here, remember we want 1x, that's our goal, if we wanted to get rid of the 6, we'd have to multiply by its reciprocal, 1 sixth. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and multiply that. Now technically you should multiply it on the same side. In real numbers it doesn't matter because multiplication is what they call commutative. It can happen in either order. 4 times 3 is the same as 3 times 4. However, there are structures such as matrices where that doesn't work all the time. And so we can't do that in matrices. So to kind of prepare you for what's coming up and coming, or what could be, let's go ahead and rewrite it. And we're going to put the 1 sixth on the same side. And so we're going to have 1 sixth times. Now that's what we're choosing to, add, to put in there. 6x equals 1 sixth times negative 48. You'll see that I just I just used yellow for the one sixth. This is that thing that I'm putting in there to counteract the six times x. And now again we have something times something times something. So we have one sixth times six times x. The associative property says that we can do that in any grouping. 
And so I'm going to group these first. And I'm going to say 1 6th of 6 is 1 x equals 1 6th of negative 48. Well, that's really, uh, is, I'm going to put this as negative uh, 48 divided by 6. Remember that negative 48 can be written as a fraction, and when you multiply fractions, you multiply straight across. And so now we have this. Let's go ahead and do that division on the right side. We have 1x is equal to, whoop, that's x, 1x is equal to negative 8. But now 1x is the same as x, and so we really have x is negative 8. So what we can do now is we can take that negative 8, and we plug that in for x, and we say, does that work? 6 times negative 8 is negative 48. It's true. So it works. In the next video, we're going to do each of the other ones, but remember all the processes that we went through. We want it to look like 1x, because when it does, it's actually x. 1 times anything is that anything. Then we used, uh, we, we chose what we had to multiply by by looking at the inverse of that, what's called the coefficient, that number in front of the x. Then we did that multiplication through the or multiplication property to both sides. You have to do it to both sides. That's what it says to do. Both sides. So be mindful of each of these things, and for, the, for these first few, do it very, very purposely. Be diligent in that. You'll get better as you go, and you'll be able to justify it in your head. But we got to get there first.